Well, we got a question today from Jim K, and he wants to know about vitamin A. He's asking whether or not vitamin A interferes with vitamin D absorption, and he was concerned that vitamin A toxicity could lead to liver disease. But he also then goes on to ask uh, and say that this apparently does not, it's not an issue when it comes to the carotenoid forms. Dr. Cunyon, what do you have to say about that today? Let's start with the, the unproven assumption that vitamin A interferes with vitamin D absorption. When the correct interpretation would have to be that vitamin A toxicity can interfere with activation of vitamin D as uh, from the 7 dehydrocholesterol form into the 7 hydroxy, or excuse me, the 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol form, which takes place in the liver. Toxic liver doesn't perform that step very well. And it's conceivable vitamin A could make that interference, but not at normal doses of 5,000 or 10,000 units a day. In fact, it's very reassuring to know that Mother Nature created a very powerful retinol supplement called uh, liver. Liver is the mammalian storage for vitamin A as retinol. And so what you're saying... the millions of units. Now, so you're, in the, liver, the, to finish the thought, it was found that polar bear liver in particular could store uh, so many thousands of units of vitamin A retinol per uh, gram that you could get toxic just eating a normal portion of polar bear liver. But beef liver, lamb's liver, and porcine liver do not do that. So in everyday uh, life here in the USA, it's a non-problem. So the, the average human, for example, the, the, uh, the liver in a human being holds about 2 million units of vitamin A, isn't that Even correct? More. Okay. 2 to 10 million units. Okay. How long would it take in a normal dietary intake of 10, 20,000 units of vitamin A? And, and, and that's not hard to get. If you're eating uh, liver as a part maybe twice a week of your diet, where a quarter pound of liver contains roughly 50,000 units of vitamin A. Of course, the uh, issue... A pound might have, might have therefore, 200,000 units the, the, as compared to an egg, which has maybe 2,000 units. It, it, just the fact that you're pushing on your questions tells me that you yourself, Greg, have been bullied around by the propaganda against the use of retinol in... Uh, in health and in conventional, as well as, of course, in health medicine. Go so ahead. here in a, in a product like Ololoa, we're not providing a mega dose of vitamin A. We're providing a supporting dose of vitamin A. The, the most accurate way to describe it would be a physiological dose. A physiological well dose. Well within the physiological range of perfect safety. Well, now what about carotene? Uh, a lot of people think that they can just go and get beta carotene, but isn't there an issue, the fact that for many people, beta carotene does not become vitamin A? Well, carotene, uh, especially commercial forms of carotene, are very often oxidized by the time they reach your palate. By the time you swallow them, they've already been altered. And in that regard, uh, one of the studies that made a big impression in my researches showed that carot people who were taking carotene had a higher incidence of lung cancer. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Well, it turns out carotenoids are the natural antioxidants for the low oxygen tension tissues. Well, lung is a high oxygen tissue, and so it has a whole different set of dynamics, let's say, as compared to liver or pancreas uh, or some uh, other uh, organ in the body that is uh, more remote, shall we say, from the breathing oxygen right into your tissues. And uh, so I haven't heard a connection between carotene and pancreatic cancer, let's say. But again, oftentimes beta carotene does not become vitamin A, is that correct? Beta carotene does become vitamin A, but it requires an enzyme in the intestinal tract to be working, and that turns out to be a thyroid-dependent enzyme. So if you're one of the, the millions of people with compromised thyroid function, it doesn't necessarily work so well. And so people are being bamboozled into thinking that carotene is an adequate vitamin A source, and it is not for many, many people. And out of, the, out of our scientific approach, we're trying to 
give these people who are otherwise in danger, for example, cervical cancer, where vitamin A is a direct protection against cervical cancer, it can even reverse cervical cancer once begun. I mean, it's that important. Vitamin A is a direct counter to the cancer carcinogenic factors. It's not the only such, but it's an important one. We're providing for that in Ololoa. And to, to say that I, Ololoa is toxic with its vitamin A at a physiological dose is pure nonsense. Great. Thank you so much, Dr. Cunyon. There's more.